Hey everyone, so this video is a request from one of my viewers. Um, a follow up is for one of my videos that I did of uh, my rat room tour. And it was regarding the um, health inspections that I do for each of my rats on a daily basis. Um, these are the sheets that were in the video uh, that she was mentioning. Um, each rat has their own sheet. Uh, sheet uh, there's one sheet per month. Their names are up at the top, their age, and then there's all these categories of things we're going to check, and then the days of the month um, along the side. So um, to help us out today, we have Beret. So let me just find her sheet, and we'll go ahead and do her health inspection here on the uh, camera so you can see kind of what we do um, here. Let me get Beret's sheet. Okay. So I'm going to fill out her age part later because I have to actually look it up. I have an idea of how old she is, but I want to be um, exact, so I'm going to look that up a little bit later on. First thing I always do is I do a weight check. And to do that, I just bought a um, kitchen scale. It looks kind of like this. This one I got at Target for maybe $20, $30 at most. It's a digital scale. And then just an um, inexpensive little basket I got from the dollar store that I put on top of that to hold the rats in. I can turn it on, and this one has different settings I can do in grams or ounces, um, pounds with ounces, stuff like that. So for the rats, I do the pounds with ounces. To weigh the rat, I just take them and place them in the basket, once it's at zero, of course. Just kind of let it sit for them to be calm. And then whatever the reading is, I record for the particular day of the month. Today is the 1st of June, so I've already weighed her this morning. She is 13.8 ounces today, so it's about what I'm reading here on the scale, so that's good. So that's the first step, and then I can just, you know, push this aside. Uh, the next one is regarding, um, we start with the head, and the first thing is uh, behavior or neurological. And the list that I'm going off of is the advanced health check that you can find on uh, the rat guide. I'll have a link for that um, at the bottom when I'm done with this. And um, so we're looking for behavior, neurological. We want them to be alert, bright-eyed, inquisitive. Um, any, we want to make sure there's no um, lethargy, there's no restlessness, circling, any, anything abnormal. Um, and I, I did some observations of the rats in the cage, kind of seeing who stood out as having any issues. And Beret is absolutely fine. There's no abnormalities as far as her behavior. Everything is good as far as Miss um, <laughs> Beret is concerned. Uh, so on her sheet, what I'll do is just for behavior, I'll put a check mark. Um, if I notice anything abnormal, I would put an X. And then at the bottom of my sheet, I have for notes. And I would just write whatever the abnormality is uh, with the date. Uh, for the most part, these rats are going to be pretty healthy um, and not usually have any issues, knock on wood. Um, so hopefully I won't have too many notes on any of these. Um, the next thing I look for is their eyes, making sure they're clear, they're bright, there's no squinting, um, and that there's no discharge. And from what we can see, Miss Beret is bright-eyed and bushy-tailed today. There's no discharge at all. Um, she's looking pretty good. And there's no cloudiness in her eyes, which would be an abnormality as far as the eyes are concerned. Mm -hmm. Um, no bulging eyes either, so that's good. Uh, the next thing we look for, and I'll just check off her ears, or I'm sorry, eyes, because she's good. The next thing is ears, and for the ears, we want to make sure there's, they're clear, there's no paleness, there's no um, discharge or odor, nothing protruding, no crusting, um, anything that would be abnormal. And hers appear fine. There's no odor. Um, so we can go ahead and check off her ears. The next thing is the mouth and the teeth. Um, we want to make sure that their teeth are aligned properly and that they are a yellowish orangey tinge um, in the adults. The gums are pink, they're not pale, um, they haven't had any problems eating. We want to look to see if there's any broken teeth. If they have pure white teeth that can indicate some problems. We want to make sure there's no odor, there's no drooling, um, and obviously no paleness. So just doing a quick little peek. Hey, guys. Hi. She said, don't mess with my mouth, Mama. Looks good. 
So we can check off mouth and teeth being good. Hers look perfect. Uh, next on the list is the nose. For the nose, we want to make sure that they're breathing in and out freely. There's no discharge. Uh, we don't want any kind of staining around the nose. Um, we don't want any noisy, nasally breathing. Um, and by listening and looking, hi. <laughs> She's looking good. Say hi, Beret. Yeah. Beret looks good as far as her nose is concerned. Okay, uh, the next thing is the cheeks and the neck. We're just going to kind of do, just make your view better, just kind of do a little ratty massage, checking around the ears and the throat area. Just make sure there's no um, growth or swelling, no, you know, anything like that. And that appears good. She kind of likes that, huh? So we can check her off her cheeks and neck being good. Our uh, next category is respiratory. And I do use the sheet because I do not want to miss anything. Um, we're checking for the breathing. We want to learn, um, you know, learn to tell what a normal uh, breathing rat sounds like. You know, their normal sounds. Some people get concerned. Um, and then what abnormal sounds, you know. Basically, if you can hear a rat breathing, there's a problem. Um, we just want to uh, make sure they're quiet. Um, rats usually breathe through their nose, so most of the breathing is going to be from the nose area. The normal respiratory rate is 71 to 146, depending on the size of the rat. Um, looking for wheezing, we're looking for congestion, we're looking for clicking, uh, labored breathing, you would see from the, ch um, the sides. Um, anything abnormal. You sound pretty good. You can also do the rat phone, which mail. is basically taking the rat and, like a telephone, putting them up to your ear. That's how you can hear in their chest. You'll hear some wheezing sound if they have any kind of dish, you know, liquid in the lungs or anything like that. And hers sound good. Huh? Yes, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Breathing on a beret sounds awesome. Um, the heart, we would, uh, this would be something you would need a stethoscope for, uh, basically to um, count the, the heartbeat, which should be 250 to 493 beats per minute. I do not have a stethoscope, um, so I'm just going to skip over heart because I don't even really want to mark it as being okay if I don't know for sure. Uh, next, we move to the body. We're just looking at this, the body contour. And this is where you carefully massage the rat's bar, I think starting from the head and working towards the tail, um, including under the armpits, especially in females, that can be um, a place for mammary tumors to grow. Um, you want to check under the, um, right here, the mammary chain, which is this area right, whoops, come on baby, right through here, is it tickle? Oops, let me move my hand. Right along the sides where the mammary glands are, would be. Uh, checking the abdomen along the groin. Um, checking, whoops, come here, baby. Checking right along this area right here. There we go. Now you're focused. For any kind of lumps, and you basically just do like a little massage. And most rats really like that. So they don't mind so much. See how she calmed down? She's like, oh, oh, that feels pretty good. Yeah. Good girl. You're looking for swelling, lumps. If you feel any enlargement, you just want to kind of feel for stuff. You're looking good, Miss Beret. We're going to check her off for her body contour. Next is the abdomen. You want it to be soft. You don't want it to be really um, bloated. You can see she's got a nice little profile there. Um, we want to, you don't want to look, you don't want anything to be hard or bloated, distended or swollen. You don't want it to be sunken in either. You want them to be just nice round, just like that. Looks good, Miss Bray. Now this one might be a little bit harder um, to check for the bowels. You're looking at the feces, making sure they're formed and they're brown in color. You're checking to make sure they don't have any diarrhea or bleeding, no rectal protrusion. Um, you don't want like very light colored stool, um, anything dry or flaky or anything extremely foul smelling. Um, 
or you know, constipation, something like that. So in a cage where there's multiple rats, that might be a little more difficult. So if you do notice any of those things, you might want to maybe separate a rat at a time. Just kind of see if you can pinpoint which rat has that issue. Um, or if you're lucky and they happen to poop on your table while you're examining them, even better. Um, but you kind of just look at their area, just make sure everything looks good. She looks good there. So we can check her off. Um, because I also have noticed there isn't any, um, any of those abnormal fecal matter in the uh, cage. So uh, The next would be urinary. It should be clear and it should be yellow. We were looking for excessive urination, which could indicate diabetes. Um, if they're not urinating, or if it's very dark and concentrated, that may indicate dehydration, um, so you'll want to take care of that, or it could indicate renal failure. So, um, she kind of urinated a little bit on the table, and it's extremely clear. I can only tell because I can see some wet spots. She's kind of pushed around everywhere, but, so I'm just going to say that her urinary looks good from what I can see. Uh, the next would be the female exam. So obviously if you have a male rat, you're not going to be looking for these same things. But for the female, uh, you're checking the vaginal area. You don't want any discharge, no bleeding, because rats aren't like humans. They don't have a, menstru a menstrual cycle. You want to make sure there's no odor, no nothing that's not that looks abnormal there. So, And you're just going to examine them for any discharge. And you can see she looks good. Uh, for the males, you would be checking the penis. You want to make sure there's um, uh, no bleeding or, or uh, order. Oh, bleh, can't talk. <laughs> odor. You were looking for thick white plugs. So you want to make sure there's none of that. Um, older males sometimes have hind limb issues. So you want to check the penis for discharge. They're not able to cleanse themselves as well with those uh, problems. So you want to check that. Hey, she's going to check herself. Huh. So for Miss B. Mail Bray, she passed that exam. The next one is for the tail. Um, and this one I do know an abnormality with Bray, which I'm not noticing so much right now. But Bray has um, wheel tail, which means when she walks, oh, you can kind of see how curved her tail is. She really, when she's out and about, see how corkscrewed that is? She carries it very high. Come here, Bray. Come um, I don't notice it so much in the cage as I do when she's out. It's almost like um, I kind of look at it. She's like cautious and she car carries her tail a little bit differently when she's out and about. Um, so I am going to put an X for her because we are going to indicate that she has wheel tail. Uh, so today is the first. We're going to put wheel tail. And that's usually um, caused by running in wheels. Um, most often are too small. When I got Beret, she was in a cage that had a very, very small wheel. It was made for a hamster. Um, her tail was extremely curly when I got her. It's straightened out quite a bit now that she's in a larger cage with a much larger wheel, but uh, she still has some indication of that wheel tail. Next thing we're looking at is their feet. Uh, we want to look to make sure that they're not really pale. I mean, they're kind of a light pink to begin with, um, but you want to look for, you know, you'll notice if it looks if it looks white, if their skin looks white and not pink, not including the fur, um, but the skin. Uh, we're also making sure there's no injuries or wounds. This is when you want to start checking the bottoms of the feet uh, for any signs of bumblefoot. So we can look. Oh, you just peed on my hand. Gross. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, you got peepees all over your tummy. Look at what you did. You clean up yourself. Look what you did. You peed -pee on yourself. As you can see, her feet look very good. She's got pretty feet. Um, you'll want to check the nails. And she is due for a nail trim. Her back nails look a little long to me, so I'm thinking I might trim those up. I do have a video on how to trim rat nails that you can view. Here's a good girl. Here's a good girl. Yes, you are. Um, so we're just going to put that she's okay because I'm going to do their nails after this. Uh, next is fur. You want it to be smooth and glossy except uh, for Rex or nudes, of course, and well-groomed. Um, the males will have a coarser texture. Uh, neutered males are probably going to be a little bit softer, more like a female. Um, you want to make sure that they're not extremely soiled. 
um, and that there's no hair loss, any parasites, stuff like that. The skin, you want to make sure it's free from scratches and scrapes, uh, cuts, wounds, bleeding, lumps, rashes. Um, and you want to check their behavior. Are they uh, itching excessively? Something you want to check for. Check the skin and the fur for possible parasites. You'll see fleas and lice. Those are easy enough to see. Mites are harder, um, but you'll be able to see the nits in the hair shaft. They're kind of silvery. So just by doing, what I do is just kind of brush the fur against the growth. So if it grows from head to tail, you're going to go from tail to head. Yeah. A couple of different spots just to make sure we don't have anything hiding. Other than some pee pee on your tummy. Check around the head area because usually when they have um, mites, though you'll find lots of scabs around the head, neck, and chin area. So I'm just kind of feeling. Yeah, she's a good girl, you are. You're perfect today, except for that needle tail. And I'll check her off her fur and her skin because she doesn't have any scratches. And lastly is her is the gait. Um, basically how they walk. You want to watch them walk, make sure it's systematic. Do, 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 do. Um, and make sure that you know there's no limping, that they can climb without difficulty. Um, she looks pretty good. Let's turn this over. You're peeing all of my health sheets, you know that? Grossy rosy. I usually keep them separate, but for video purposes, everything's kind of on one spot. Uh, you're going to do a hopping test. You're going to place the rat on a firm surface, place the net, uh, place your hand under the chest for support, and you're going to raise the front of the rat. And with the other hand, um, lift up and hold one hind foot. And the rat will uh, kind of hop from side to side, trying to maintain their balance. As you can see, she's... She's like, whatever. <laughs> this is the hopping test. There she goes. She's kind of hopping a little bit. Uh, the next is the wheelbarrow test. Oops, sorry. Check your business. <laughs> the next is the wheelbarrow test. That you're going to place them on a firm surface. Lift and gently hold up their hind legs and move, um, move gently forward like a wheelbarrow pushing. So you can see she does really well on that. <laughs> Good job. So your gait looks great. All right, so that's um, the basic health check that I have on my sheet. The other, last thing I like to check for um, is just um, a hydration check where you're just kind of pinching the skin. Pinch test. You're going to use your two fingers, and you're going to just take a little fold of skin from the rat's back and lift it up. Kind of like a little tent. Oops, come on, baby. Like, we'll get you in frame better. There you go. Like this. And um, when you let, when you release your fingers, the skin should return to its normal position. So you can see it bounces right back. She's nice and smooth still. So you can tell she's well hydrated. Uh, if its skin stays raised at all, that could indicate some um, dehydration, and you'll want to supplement them with uh, a little bit of some children's Pedialyte, um, even Gatorade, something to hydrate them. And other than that, that is uh, what I do for all 10 of my rats on a daily basis. Um, I started doing this after I noticed a lump on Aniston and uh, Scarlet. So that kind of got me freaked out. And I said, you know what? I can't let it go any longer. I have to check everything daily because with them, one little thing goes wrong. They go downhill so fast. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope that helped. Um, and yeah. Again, you can find that information online. I'll have a link for you below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.